everyone, it's Tracy and welcome back to my channel. This is the final layout that I'm making from the kit that I showed at the beginning of the month. And I'm bringing back those tulips. I'm so proud of them. Um, I wanted to show them as a, as a whole in my garden. Um, they don't take up like 100% of my front flower bed. It goes across the whole front of my house. So I kind of spread it out uh, throughout the, you know, little sections in my flower bed. So I wanted to showcase them, you know, in this layout. They're only uh, two by three. No, no, no. Those are three by four photos. And I thought, you know, they needed something to go behind them, some sort of matting. And I looked at some of the papers that I had and I just decided to use that um, you know that it's kind of a teal color it's really hard for me to uh, to get it exactly the way it is um, for whatever reason whenever my camera um, records it the colors are off and I'm always having to manipulate it and I do the best I can I am not very good at it I get close enough. How about that? And anyway, so it is kind of a teal color. And it's just, you know, it's just a little bit of color, you know, because of the background. I know it looks like it's white, but it's one of the background papers that I have. It's a really pale pink at the top and it's grid. So it's actually like ledger paper slash grid paper. It's It does have some texture to it. But at least it's not just a plain white paper. Glad to get that used up. Um, so cutting up, you know, so I was able to use, let's see, one, two, and then those, uh, this, the color paper is like my inspiration paper. And I still have about a half a sheet left. I probably have still a four by 12 left of that paper. So I, what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to continue working with this kit until I am sick of it or I run out of paper or something. So I won't be showing any videos from it, of course. Um, I'll just, you know, um, I'll probably post them somewhere on Facebook. I'm just not sure where. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, no pressure on my part. So I have to say this tool, which is the uh, Big Shot, is probably the best investment I have ever made in scrapbooking. I have used it, oh, thousands of times, thousands and thousands of times. And I think about, I think I spent, what, maybe $100 for it. And that's been, I don't know, about almost 10 years ago. Maybe not quite that long. And I have been through many plates. Um, those plates I really should replace, but uh, but I'm not going to yet. They still got, have some life in them. And I'm needing, you know, some of the leaves that I mentioned on the last time that uh, I, you know, I was using these flowers, which I think it was last week. And I didn't have any more, so I needed to have some in that green was perfect or the teal was perfect. So just going through all the rest of those flowers that are in my little ceramic tin and the sun is kind of coming and going. I have the, uh, my windows, the, the blinds open. So that's why the shading kind of goes because the sun's kind of peeking behind the, the clouds. It, it's very sunny today. And that says today, actually, I can't believe the timing of me saying that. It's, it's a little hard to read, but it's okay. Uh, it, uh, and I was going to use it on the last layout, but I couldn't see it. But I figured it would work great here. I decided not to use those floral chipboard. Then I'm going to use them on another layout, uh, you know, as I'm finishing up this, uh, this, th this kit. I was able to use quite a bit of the pieces from this. Um, they're so tiny, but I used a lot of them. 
So I'm quite proud of myself by uh, using up, because um, I use the word amazing, and I've used um, a lot of the, well, I used all the black, and I've used, I think, all of the pink and all of the teal. So, uh, and I'm talking about the circle. So they're like puffy. I, I'm not even sure what to call them. It, they're, um, I don't know. They're not enamel dots. I know that. I keep saying that because <laughs> I'm so adamant about, I don't like enamel dots and I'm not going to use them. You know, and I had used the, oh my goodness. I, you know what? This is the thing about being, not doing this for a long time. So I had the foam tape on the back of that photo because I wanted it to be elevated. And I have to say that foam tape that I use, the backing is very hard to get off. That is my number one complaint about it. And I have to say that the, the 3M, they, that is probably the best, but it is very expensive. And if I just have to deal with not being able to get it off easily, then to me it was worth the price because it's like a quarter of the price but it's, it is hard and it, it does take me a minute to get it off. And I usually have to get something to kind of pry it off. And I don't know if you guys have had the same problem, you know, with your foam tape that, that you buy and not the 3M one, but the others. All right. And I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm trying to make sure that I've got my page pulled up enough, especially when I'm working down at the bottom um, because of the camera situation, I'm, you know, I'm so, um, you know, I just forget. And so bear with me. I'll, I'll push it up here in just a second. There we go. Then I realize, oh my goodness, you can't even see it. And those are little hearts and some big hearts and those that I had punched out. And those were in my little ceramic plate here. And then, um, yeah, so I used up the rest of the flowers from the gold foil, uh, from the, um, the simple stories. This was the new thing that I'm using, and I'm actually going to use a word, and I'm trying to find a word that would work. And because I want it to have uh, two words, or at least use two fonts for the title and I'm using um, the beautiful and then I'm going to spell the word blooms and first I uh, do bloom well you know there's not enough room and whenever you know it's like this you should always spell the word backwards so I need to go back and add the s and add everything and I was afraid that you wouldn't be able to see the letters but you really can you can see it here and you can see it in real life and I probably need to go in and glue those down. I don't know if, yeah, they're not going to, they're not going to last. So if you get these puffy alpha, make sure you use wet glue to glue them down. Now that flare, I like that flare. In fact, I like it over there on the left-hand side. And I think I'm going to go back and add it to that. I've already taken the, the pictures and everything, but I think I'm going to go ahead and add it there. Um, I think it's a leaf and it would be appropriate for this layout. And that oval, it says it's the little things. So, and I also found that to be appropriate. So here's some of the teal uh, crosses or X's or I don't know what you want to call those. And that's a little bitty yellow dot. And I'm done. This is it. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.